Ladies and gentlemen, the most commonly asked question I receive in this channel has nothing to do with tanks. It, it is, how do you record uh, your screen on your iPad? And from there, we move forward to how do you edit the screen? How do you put the effects in? How do you do the title sequences? How do you upload to YouTube? Blah, 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 blah. Well, I am here today to give a quick rundown on that. I won't go into supreme amounts of depth, but if you are interested, I will certainly do follow-up videos, and I'm more than happy to answer questions in the channel section. We will touch on Shout.TV. That's the app I use. We will touch on iMovie, which is the editing tool I use. We will touch on Handbrake and Photoshop, which are the compression and uh, thumbnail um, programs that I use and we will also have a little chat about SEO or search engine optimization for your YouTube channel if you go down that uh, down that route and it is a lot of fun it's a it's a reward in of itself um, but I digress let's have a chat about Xiao if you want to get Xiao.tv this is the app I use you will need to do one of two things you will have to download it for e EMU for iOS.net which is the, uh, the site that you can actually grab it from. Um, you can also get it from shao.tv. Uh, if you go there, welcome to Shao TV, which is actually um, just as good. Uh, you can get the iOS beta version. You have to sign in, all that kind of thing. But it's, it's an incredible app, and it's well worth the effort. If you are having any issues with this app, I might well suggest that you bugger off and have a look at the Twitter feed of shao.tv. An excellent Twitter feed. The actual maker of Shout.tv is there and he is an outstanding human being who will help you no end. He will answer direct questions and, uh, and he's, he's well under the hammer in terms of, um, you know, he's got 15,000 followers and he gets heaps and heaps of queries from people who can't make it work and he does his level best and I can't recommend him highly enough. Very good if you've got a problem. Go there first and read through the comments there's every chance that someone has already had the same problem and is giving you an answer there. Now, if you get Shout.TV and you are not jailbroken out from EMU for iOS and it doesn't work, it could well be because your current version of your iOS is not compatible. That is why my machine is jailbroken. Uh, there is nothing worse than not being able to screen record when you're in the middle of a review and your content dies on your channel. So I jailbroke whatever. I'm on version 8.1.2 and I downloaded Shout TV through Cydia. Um, we are not going to go down the whole what jailbreaking and all that kind of thing. Just get the, get the app from here. <laughs> do your best. If it doesn't download from here, you may look at jailbreaking. You may do all kinds of things. Um, once you have the app, you will want to go into World of Tanks and record. You have to have assistive touch turned on. See this here? That's assistive, assistive touch. You go into your uh, general section in your settings on your iPad under accessibility and switch that to on. Um, just one of the little quirks that is required for this thing to get rolling forward. Now, we're going to open up the old world of tanks. You do a recording and all well and good. You can see here, you just click the stop recording or start recording button there just near the assistive touch and you can see we're recording away. I'm not going to click stop recording because then you wouldn't be able to hear what I'm telling you. We will however go to World of Tanks. Now here we are. We're in World of Tanks. We're recording away. Something to remember. Record game by game. There is nothing worse than doing an hour and 45 minute recording session of three or four gig and realizing that you only actually want the content from two of those games in the 25 or 30 that you've played and having to edit through it all and scour through to find it. Record game by game. What Shao will then do is put it in this section here. There's nothing there at the moment, but normally there would be a game recorded. You'd have it in there. You could then save it to your camera roll simply by touching it and selecting save to camera roll. The rest that you weren't prepared to use or which were of no use to you, you would delete. They all take up space and trust me, this video editing thing, this whole caper will take up huge amounts of space on your iPad. Um, it is a real juggle if you've got a 16 gig. I run a 64 gig and it would be impossible to do what I do without it. Once it is safe to camera roll, you're going to want to edit your gameplay. Let's have a look at iMovie.
Now iMovie can be downloaded on the App Store for $6.49. Some of you naughty people may try and jailbreak and download illegal versions of that software and now I cannot stop you. However, I feel that it is more than fair to pay for this kind of app because, good God, it is well worth every penny. Uh, just to give you a quick example, you've downloaded your little movie, um, you've saved it to your camera roll and you've put it in here and lo and behold, there it is. Okay, isn't that wonderful? Now, you do that very simply. Actually, let's go from the start. We'll, we'll create a movie, a new movie. We're going to create a project, Modern or Bright, the two I usually use. They affect the themes of your transition. So you can either, and, and you'll see that as you go further in, but it's not one of the basic things we're going to actually have a squiz at today. For instance, let's have a look at this movie here. This is one I recorded yesterday with a, uh, a fellow Wall of Tanks uh, player, Jimmy 04092 002 on Middleburg. Now, you can see there, it looks all a bit blurry, a little bit of a packet of poop tickets. But once you press play, well and good. It's all working. You can see we're bashing away at a T-34 up the end there. Now, if I want to save this, I may well do it without sound, in which case I will highlight it, pull the sound, and there you go. Because I want to be talking over the top of it, and I don't want to be interrupted. Very straightforward, very simple, very obvious. I hope everyone understands that. However, if I want to add effects to that, I'll need to pull in audio. Now, it's very important um, that you remember the way things work on this game and in this actual iOS um, if you want to pull in audio, you're going to be pulling in MP3. So I downloaded a whole heap of standalone MP3 files that are also sound effects. So let's just scroll back to where we blew up that T-34 there. And you will note that um, there he is. Okay, perfect. We are going to stop it just as we fire. We are going to split the track there by using the split button down the bottom. And you'll see all the videos on, and photos and audio are up here on the right. In the audio, I am going to go to songs because I have them all listed as MP3s. I'm going to go down to explosion. Now, you should also download these MP3 files if you can find them on the web. Uh, and I am going to simply click that little down arrow there and that will slot that explosion in right about that split that we earlier made. And you can see the scissors there in the bottom left-hand corner. You've got your scissors, you've got your time, your speeds, your audio text if you want to add text in and your, your colors you can change the colors of it all that kind of thing so now we watch that same little bit of footage there's no sound but you can see i'm about to pump one into that t-34 as he pops out oh what would you know oh, wonderful what, a, what an amazing technological age we live in likewise if you want to add a audio file for the actual intro you're going to add something like my song. This is just one of the, um, this is just something I made, obviously. There you go. I use this all the time in my intros, just a riff I wrote on the old guitar. Um, and you can edit all that there too. You can fade it so that the actual song is, uh, builds up a little bit and you'll see that there we do that. Then you fade, obviously it's coming from a lower volume to a higher volume until it finally peaks at 100% of the volume that you've currently chosen. Whatever. Something else to realize on this, it only handles three audio tracks. The video is included as an audio track. So if you have more than two things down here in your audio section, you are going to drop sound somewhere along the way. So you can't go overboard with effects, and you may have to learn how to juggle, split, and do things. But you can do that, and if you're dedicated enough or you're just interested enough you'll follow through on it and you're passionate about it you'll figure all that stuff out but this is where it's at iMovie is very very simple to use once you've done that all you do is select the little up arrow there save the video HD and it will export that movie straight to your camera roll once you've exported that movie to your camera roll you're going to go in and use a thing called handbrake and handbrake is an excellent tool for compressing now the reason we use handbrake to compress is pretty bloody simple some of the files if you're doing a 40 minute long video or even a five minute long video are going to be very large they'll be a gig to four gig to five gig 
you don't want to be uploading a five gig file to YouTube. It takes for bloody ever. Uh, and it's hard to edit and it's much harder to compress because YouTube will compress it and process it itself. So you end up with less control on the outcome and it's a far from efficient process. Whereas you can compress that file on your PC or Mac, whatever the case may be, using something like Handbrake, which is free and does the job, and that's two very key parts, um, and then it will go from, say, a four gig file to a one gig file, and it takes less time, and it's a, it's a straight through process, and you control the actual quality of the file, but YouTube will not compress it. So let's have a look at Handbrake. Now this is the file compression tool called Handbrake that I use quite a bit. Uh, it's a free one, it's very easy to use, it's very straightforward, and it, that, that's two key things as far as I'm concerned, because uh, you can really blow the budget um, with this whole <laughs> YouTube phenomenon, whatever. Uh, you select the source, you can see there in the top left hand corner, and you select the destination, you can see there is a heading there for destination further down. When you select the destination, you also select the file name. What you want to ensure you do with the file name is make it a file name that is easily hit in searches. So if you're recording a video, don't call it Killing Heaps in My IS4, call it World of Tank Blitz IS4 Guide, or World of Tanks IS4, or IS4 Tank Review. Something that actually will come up and people will search for that on Google or YouTube in the search boxes. That'll make your YouTube channel a lot more accessible to people. The second thing you wanna do is actually make sure that you tick the box marked Web Optimize. You can see me ticking it there. And then you certainly make sure all these other things that are default stick and stay. You don't muck around with them. But the quality over here on the right, the video codec, all that's fine. Quality, I will generally slide to around 26, 25. 20 is your default. That will cut your file size down considerably. Uh, then you just click start and it will save that. Um, and it's really key that you compress the file correctly for YouTube. There is nothing worse than trying to upload a file because bandwidth is important and, uh, and the bigger the file, the longer it takes to upload, the more processing needs to be done, the harder it is to get it running. Um, you want to be in a format that suits and is efficient. And that's basically why you compress the file. You can't upload it raw to YouTube. And if you do try to upload it raw to YouTube, it will actually compress it itself and their compression can be pretty horrible. So, there you go, it's that compression. Now, when you've actually uploaded the file to YouTube or you're in the process of uploading it, you're gonna get the option to present something called a custom thumbnail. You absolutely want to do this. Um, we're going to have a look at my YouTube channel in a second, and I'm going to run you through some of the finer points there. But the reason you want to do that is it explodes off the page when people are doing searches. And the more noticeable you are, uh, the more likely you are to get a hit and a subscriber on your YouTube channel. There is a whole bunch of videos for World of Tanks out there. A lot of them look very plain and very average because all they are is a randomly taken still from the video that YouTube selects itself. You want to create a file, and this is a screen cap from Photoshop. I use Photoshop to do this. Uh, you want to create a file that is 1280 by 720 pixels, uh, and you want to just have something simple in there. That's the How Not to Explode thumbnail, episode three. Um, and you can experiment with this stuff, and you will get better at it. But you absolutely have to make a thumbnail, even if it's just a generic thing, which is a flag and your name across it or the name of your channel, and uh, episode one, episode two, episode three, whatever. It's key that you create thumbnails and you upload them with your video. So, you've recorded your gameplay. You've downloaded Shout.tv, you've recorded your gameplay, uh, you've edited it in iMovie, you've, what, what the hell else have you done? You've compressed the file on your PC, you've made a thumbnail, you've uploaded that to your YouTube channel, and now you're uploading the video itself. Where to from there? Well, it's really important, we talked about making sure the file name is something that will be searched on. Uh, it's really important too that in the actual blurb that you put in there for the video, give some description, give an idea on what the actual video is. Make it entertaining if possible. Um, you'll see here, this is my IS4 guide review and gameplay. 
I've done a thumbnail that has a Russian flag on it, a picture of the tank and the name of the tank and me. So it's giving you the info straight away. Even if you're just doing a search, you're going to see an IS-4, you're going to see it's a Russian tank, it jumps out at you. Then in the actual description of the video, the world of tank splits bulldozer rolls into Moscow for another bite of Comrade Putin's borscht. It's pithy, whatever. Immediately then I talk about the IS-4. The first part of that description lists the World of Tanks Blitz. So any search is going to find that in the first sentence and it's going to help your video get looked at on YouTube. Likewise, the link backs in the center, it says World of Tanks Compare, uh, World of Tanks Info, you can see there. Uh, World of Tanks, I've got, I've got a link back to um, the Mighty Jingles website, all those kind of things. They absolutely increase the number of hits your video will receive and they're a must-do for anyone that's interested in growing their YouTube channel. So there you have it. A uh, very straightforward rundown on how we go from beginning to end. Obviously, it could be a lot more in-depth, but we are trying to stick to sub-15 minutes. And we're already a minute and 40 over that. So whew, short attention spans are all the order of the day, apparently. Uh, if you want to catch up, as always, on Twitter... Uh, in the forums, in-game, wherever. But make sure if you want to discuss this particular topic or you have requests for further videos or clarification on any of the points, um, leave them in the comments here on the YouTube channel. Also, uh, I might point out, I'm not responsible for jailbreaking and all those kind of things. If you want to do that stuff, then you've got to do it at your own risk. Uh, likewise, if you are looking to download it and it's not downloading, you may have to do a little bit of legwork, just like I did, to chase things up on Twitter there and read through all the comments from shout.tv before you go uh, yelling that it doesn't work. Anyway, I'm Bushcrime Blitz, and see you on the battlefield.